welcome to episode number 38 of Hassett Mentor Review. In this episode, we talk about customer extortion, how to verify food shelf life, undertaking air quality testing, and some interesting stats on spices, which will help in your raw material risk assessments. I had a very interesting telephone call from a client this past week about a customer complaint that they had received. The customer claimed to have broken a tooth after consuming one of their products. The products contained olives, which had the pit that had not been removed. The injury allegedly happened six weeks ago. Anyway, this guy calls up to say that he has been to the dentist to have his tooth fixed. Now keep in mind that this was six weeks ago, and this is the first contact since the alleged incident. He then proceeds to tell management that if he doesn't get $800 for his dentist bill by 5pm that day, he's going to the media. There is no denial from my client that this type of incident could occur. We know it can. Pits are found naturally in olives. Regardless of who is at fault, the customer does not have the legal right to extort payment from the food business. If you want to find out what to do if your food business is ever in this position, Check out Hassett Mentor's post on how to handle attempts of food extortion. The US FDA has recently released a risk profile on pathogens and filth in spices. If you use spices in any of your food products, this is a great resource to check out. The information provider will assist you in undertaking your own raw material hazard analysis with the majority of GFSI standards requiring you to do this. I have put together an infographic on some of the key information which you can view on the transcript to this episode or find on my Hassett Mentor Pinterest page. How to verify food shelf life. Establishing food shelf life and regularly verifying the shelf life of your food products is a basic food safety requirement. This means you have to be able to back up with evidence the food shelf life or expiry date that you label on your products. When establishing the shelf life, consideration needs to be given not only to your process environment, but also target food safety and quality parameters. The packaging that the product gets sold to the customer in also needs to be considered. When setting up your shelf life verification program, make sure that it includes the following things. Testing of retention samples at different points in the product shelf life. So for example, tested at day two, at day 45, at day 100, for all of the parameters. Now this of course will be dependent on what the actual shelf life of your product is. The next thing you can do is undertake challenge testing of the product to support your storage instructions. So for example, to account for the cold chain process post-dispatch. The next thing to do is to test the product beyond the stated shelf life. So for example, Test your product at 13 months if the product has a 12-month shelf life indicated on the label. Just a quick note for any food business that's starting out. Establishing your food shelf life from what your competitor has labelled is not acceptable. The way that they manufacture their food product may be very different to how you manufacture your food product. Their manufacturing site is also going to be very different to yours as well. The action item for this episode is to check the air quality testing has been completed in the previous 12 months. In this regard, I'm referring to testing compressed air that comes into contact with any food or food contact surface. The quality of the air used in your food manufacturing business can have a direct impact on the quality and safety of your manufactured food products. That wraps up another episode. Any questions or feedback is appreciated, so just leave your comments below this post on the website. Feel free to also share with your work colleagues and other QA friends. I hope that you found the topics useful in this episode of Hassett Mentor Review. Until next time, I'm Amanda Evans from HassettMentor.com.